Welcome back everyone. You may have an issue or an error that looks something like this. You know, it says unable to install update and error occurred when installing whatever iOS update it is. Now this says iOS 12. So if you're trying to install iOS 15, 16, 17, 19 in the future, pretty much the main way to fix this is to first of all, make sure you have enough storage on your iPhone to actually install this update in the first place. So what you want to do is you want to click on your settings right here. You want to go ahead and click on general. You want to click on iPhone storage, which is right here. And you want to make sure you have enough storage on your iPhone saved up to actually install this update in the first place. So you can see the storage is probably not an issue for me because I have enough storage. But if you don't have enough storage on your iPhone storage right here, you're going to have to delete a, you know, some things on your iPhone to actually get enough storage on your device. So go through, delete games, delete anything temporarily. You can put them on the iCloud you know, storage as well. And then you want to go ahead and again, try going through and installing the update once more. So you want to go back into your software update, go through and see if you can install the update. I do want to say most of the time you'll probably be good to go. If you're still having issues, the next thing I would recommend doing is to actually go ahead and double check your network connection. So either connect to a better cell signal, connect to a better Wi-Fi connection, and then try to see if that's going to fix the issue there. I'm going to be honest, anytime I've ran into an issue that looked even remotely close to this, it was due to either the update being pulled, which happened a couple times, or me not being able to actually download that update because there's a network connection problem. So what I would recommend doing there, connect to a better Wi-Fi connection, and then trying and going through and seeing if that fixed the problem. If that still doesn't work, another thing you can do is to try powering down your iPhone or restarting it. You can also try, I wouldn't recommend factory resetting your iPhone yet, but keep trying to go through, restart your iPhone, connect to a better cell signal, and see if that works from there. So. That pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.